Hey, Mike's Diabetes World. Well, today we're going to uh, take a look at my blood sugars. Ooh. <laughs> and the trends that have started out. And, and how my sensor is reacting. It's, doesn't that sound exciting? Well, stay tuned and we'll be right back. sugar's been doing well they're back to being all over the place I was Friday you know they took a look at my everything together and decided well look there's a pattern and I said well I don't know it's more like an inflated pattern because there had been a few stresses in my life and but I think now we're back to where we are and that's still the best we can account for. Hmm really it's not the best well my blood sugars are up and down sorry Nika wants to go over here my sensor was ringing all night doo, doo, doo. and I woke up and it showed I think 3-3 three, three. you know what I'm saying oh, okay well let's do a blood sugar so I did a finger poke and it was 8-9. That's a big discrepancy. And that friggin' alarm kept going off all night. And I didn't want to get up. I was having a good rest. But I guess I fell back to sleep or it was on my side or whatever. And I didn't hear it. <sighs> That's the joys in... I don't want to hook up the big alarm because if I hook up the big alarm, it's going to wake up mom. And if it wakes up mom, I won't hear the end of it. So, I don't think I'm crashing as low as it's saying. But, you know, we have to keep an eye on things getting up, having a shower, I've got to clear off my bed, you know, I, things were put in the room while I was gone, and, you know, everything is still in an upheaval, and now mom wants to spend the whole day, and I'm supposed to lift and move boxes, well, I'm sorry, I don't think that's going to happen, mom, I mean, I can probably move some boxes but we're she wants it all cleared off today and you know I don't know if maybe I don't think living with mom is really being that bad I mean we seem to we haven't really had an argument except when she came down but besides that And the only thing uh, that I can really think of is trying to take a look at BC housing for myself and 
that seems to be the stress of like I don't really know how to go about I know there's a BC housing office but I think you have to go and apply at the individual areas and you know I've been out looking at some but today mom wants me home so I guess I'm home but she'll probably, you know, she sleeps till noon. And I mean, great. I'm all for that if she has to sleep. So, in the back of my mind, I know I'm going to have to move. But I'm sort of, <clears throat> I don't make a lot. And... having a place which I would like close to here. I love the building here. And I love the um, lot. But I guess I'm a sort of settling into a pattern with my blood sugars. And you know they're up and then they're down. Yesterday I went up to excuse me <coughs> just before dinner of sixteen, and then it started to crash. So what was a pattern that diabetic daycare was all excited about? on Friday has certainly changed now. And you know, it could be for the best and who knows. But it's kind of like, if you say there's a pattern, then I don't know if my mind plays tricks and starts changing things. I don't like, I would love to just go through like maybe a week of just normal blood sugars. I don't like being high because you have to go every five minutes and I hate that. My body just constantly always having to urinate, always drinking. You know, so often you hear from my mom, my dad, and whoever, well, you know, if you only ate right. Hmm. And, you know, my mom's getting on me about my weight, and, <coughs> you know, it's, well, you, you know, you shouldn't be eating all the time during the day. And it's like, no, I shouldn't have to. <coughs> However, I do. Because I keep heading into low territory. Excuse me. <coughs> it's just early morning. Yeah, so there's not really too much going on today. I wanted to go get some new sheets for my bed. And sleep and get everything hunky dory. And mom wants to do my room. <coughs> so I don't know. By this afternoon, I could have higher blood sugars. Because she always says she wants support. Okay. But when you try to do support, it's 
Oh, I wish everyone would just leave it there. No, it's, uh, but that's the dementia. And she's after, she wants her car in the garage. Well, I don't think she's going to have many driving days left. And I don't think she's inside all the time. But, you know, I think she needs to get out. Whether it's just coming out, sitting on a bench in front of the building. She, the first couple of days when it was really hot, she was out on the balcony. But now, I mean, the last couple of days it's got cooler and she really hasn't wanted to get out, which was understandable. I, I didn't really want to go out. I had to go out because of our pal there. I don't know, can you, there he is. Nico. God. Friday did it poor. Or was it Saturday? No, it was Saturday, sorry. Did it poor. Friday was beautiful. You know, it was a little overcast and then but so I kind of have to watch her. I have to do my own meds. I have to watch her. There's, you know, a little bit of fun game playing to make sure she's not detecting that you're watching her. It's all... It's all good. It's all exciting. We need to... build a buffer. And I don't mean a negative buffer. But we need to build a buffer with Mom. In that... You know, she's happy in her little corner. I bought her some crossword puzzles. So that, you know, she can keep busy. Because I don't want her sitting there. Because when I come home, you know, I get the excess stress. And I don't really want the excess stress. And I do realize that it's mum. But so often we just forget about, well, why can't you just be just like the way you were? And the thing before, She would always go off to work. And usually, back then, I was working nights. And then she came home and... I was getting ready to go off to work. But where... I mean, I know the stress levels are only going to increase... So, (coughs) and, you know, I'm worried, and the stress will continue, I'm worried that what will happen when I, if I get BC housing, and I move out, what's going to happen to her? Right now, she gets frustrated. It's just the traditional. So, but, you know, the memory lapses will only get worse. And like last night, 
She wanted to have a talk with me five times. And every time it was the exact same thing. And I didn't want to go and say, Oh, well, we've already discussed that, Mom. Because then she'll, Oh, I just want to know. Like, the mornings are great. She comes out sometimes. Well, yesterday morning, someone kept waking her up. Hmm. Don't know which dog that would be. But, you know, things... We always work on doing our best for people. And, you know, it takes a look in in 30 years, is that going to be me? And it could very well be. You know, I could... I've been having to be hospitalized already with blood sugar issues and if I'm not able to do my blood sugars or not able to program my pump we're going to have the same issues but so often we worry about things more than they end up happening. And I think that can drive up your blood sugars. Now, personally, I think stress on your blood sugars doesn't I was always led to believe years ago in the early 80s that blood sugar was up and down. Oops, that's a bit shady. Oh, there we go. Um, <clears throat> and they would spike because of stress and stress. And I don't know. Because. Back then, you know, they I had to go meet with a social worker. Then my parents had to go meet with a social worker. And <clears throat> their determined was I had too little stress. And that's why my blood sugars were all over the place. And now I have too much stress. <coughs> I don't think... It mixes. You know, I think it may go up a point, but I don't think stress, well, for me anyway, stress goes and makes things go totally haywire. I think it's a driving component, but I don't think it's the <coughs> one thing that makes my <coughs> blood sugars totally out of whack. But you know, <coughs> I think the stress can work with other factors. But, you know, I. I constantly, you know, that stress seems to be the answer for everything. Oh, you're having a problem with this elbow, you know, it's stress. And, come on. I think it may add to the situation, but I don't think <coughs> stress is the total answer for everything. But, you know, I'm sure I'll get people... What, what, what are we up here? What's the matter, Nico? What, what are we dragging? What's the dragon? So what is stress in your life? And how are you combating it? 
you know, I think <clears throat> if stress is an indicator in your life, well, follow the plan that's being associated with your regime and deal with it. And fun, find some way of releasing <coughs> your stress. You know, I think maybe a good game of basketball or, I don't know, some laughter is the best medicine. So get out, relax, and have a great day, and we'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye now.